all right guys in today's video we are talking about how you can download install and set up vagrant on your computer um before we will get started to downloading and installing first you have to understand what this concept stands so you cannot you, just, you, you don't want to just go ahead downloading and installing what you don't know about first let's look let's look at what our virtual bus is then vagrant when we talk about visual bots um without any technical term you can go ahead and read what we have here but in in a more simple term it's a computer inside a computer let's say you have a program or a game that only works that um find it difficult to work on your system okay instead of um maybe going to get another computer just to run that one singular thing you can use a virtual box all right so you can use a virtual bus to do that and it uh, vagrant is more like uh, a, a tool that help manage your virtual environment of course your help manage your virtual tools your virtual environment okay it's not just used for you know uh for virtual box alone you can use it for docker hyper v you know and other virtual machine okay so the purpose of vagrant is to simplify the process of setting up and managing visual development environment you can research more about this concept but this is just this will get you started to know what you are downloading and installing so just to get started with what you have um first we want to download and install virtual box that's the first step to what we are going to do today so to get started you go to your browser and the link is here you can copy it and paste in your browser so uh just come over to my browser you can search for virtual box virtual box download just like so you can hit on that and it's going to take you uh, from google it's going to take you there you click on the first one but hey you can just go ahead and copy the link any of them works uh the link is here it will be in the description you can just copy it and paste in your browser and it's going to help you download that so once you get here you come over here you select the type of operating system you are using a uh, windows mac and linux so i'm using windows so i'll just go ahead and click on windows here so going to start downloading so i already have that so i'm just going to stop that because i already downloaded um virtual box on my computer you can allow it to download so what i need to do look at it I'll, 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 to begin the installation process i have to click on it and wait for it to load so i'll click you select yes okay select next okay so this is it and just go ahead and select next just say yes yes so you go ahead and click install all right it's going to start the installation process Just give it a, a little time. We'll run the installation. okay so i'll go ahead and click on finish all right so since we are done downloading and installing visual bus the next thing is to download vagrant so you can copy this link the link here to or you can go to your your search on your search bar and search for vagrant download so um either way it will take you to 
where you have to download vagrant so this is it you come here mac os windows liner so i'm using windows so i'll click on windows you come here ensure it's on the latest version so click on this amd64 click is going to start the download since i already have that downloaded i'm not going to download that again so i have that here background for windows so i'll click on it to begin the installation process okay so yeah this is it all right you click next click on i accept our uh, terms and next okay don't don't bother to change all of this just click on next click on install so it's going to take a little time to run so while i just wait for it to to run click on yes and the installation process will begin so just allow it to finish up the installation So after we install vagrant we click on finish so it's going to ask if you want to, uh, to restart computer i don't want that so i'll click on no so after you've done that the next thing we are going to do now is to come to here come here search for our power shell windows power shell you can also use command prompt but i prefer um using power shell power, uh, windows prompt is still going to work so once you open your windows prompt okay the next thing you are going to do you come back to our document here the link will be in the description so run the following command you know so the first one here you are going to copy this background box add ubuntu Foca 64 so i'll copy so i go back to PowerShell. what i'm going to do you right click so once i right click it's going to paste by itself what i copied the link will be of what you need or the link will be in the description so going to so make sure you you are connected to the internet for it to work so i hit enter it's going to start to add uh, for, uh the vagrant box so you wait it, it will take some time you are going to wait for it i like to download all the dependencies so as you can see it has said successfully added uh, ubuntu focus 64 so the next thing you come back all the links will be in the description so you copy the next one just copy the link right click click on sorry So copy and you go back to your PowerShell right click to paste it so once you pasted it you hit enter so it's going to run that what we are doing we are initializing Ubuntu Foca 64 so wait for it to run in our okay so it's going to say um it already exists so i'll go to the next command so i come back here and i copy this all the link are here for you so copy i come back here i just right click and i hit enter that is going to run okay this is going to take some time so let's just wait for it 
as you can see the it has been so vagrant vb guest it has been so so the next step we come here and the next step is to run vagrant up so again i'll copy the link here click on copy and come back here i'll right click i'll hit enter so i'll wait for it this is going to take a few time so again i'm going to pause and wait for it to run very funny so let me just pause Okay, so as you can see, I'll be able to uh, vagrant roll, uh, up and run successfully. So the next command be to type uh, vagrant ssh. Again, I'll put this from here. Like I said, the command, the link will be the description. So copy this and I come back here and I paste in. I click to paste and if I hit enter vagrant ssh. Okay, that's going to run as well. All right, so congratulations. You see, last we have been able to log in into our background Ubuntu Foca box. So if I hit, um, if I list LS, see, I have some, you know, files here. So if I already created some files, so to exit, I'll just do exit. I'll type in exit and it's going to exit that. Thank you. Um, please like and subscribe. I'm going to see you in the next video.